Hey guys, welcome back to Des and Fox Play. I am Des, and this is the Music Machine. So, oh, that's me walking. I thought it was somebody knocking on the door. So we are wandering around this island that uh, I guess we're possessed by a malevolent ghost that wants to kill us? Question mark. Not really. Still not really sure what's going on. Anyway. Uh, we've just been exploring this island. I guess we went here because there's been some murders on the island. I'm really not sure as to what's going on here. But uh, it was implied that the ghost is trying to get revenge on us. And I don't know. A lot of things are happening. Not sure exactly what's going on here. It was also stated that the ghost sent us to... Uh, summer camp one year which makes me wonder if the ghost is like uh, a ghost of our father or something like that oh here we go here's something new what do we have here so this looks like an empty area like a smithing area it would have still been in relatively good shape. Don't think it's been out here very long. Yeah. So I'm not sure why I can do that. I'm sure, I'll find out eventually. It's filled with rainwater. Okay. We drink some. I'm thirsty. Okay. So Haley is the the person that we're following here. So Haley, I guess we are Haley. And Quentin is controlling her though, so she is like, hey, let me do this, help me out. Nothing wrong with rainwater. <laughs> it's actually really nasty. Just some rusty knives and spoons. I'm wondering if I could take the uh, take the knife as protection. Let's see. I'm gonna go and hang on to that rock. Don't know why. Actually, we're not, because it says throw in the middle of the screen, and that's a little bit annoying. Whoa! Oh, you can throw them pretty far if you hold on to the mouse. Can I go into the water? A little bit. What happens if I keep going? How far can I go into the water? Goodbye, cruel war. No. <laughs> Hello, cruel world. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's another thing over there. Let's go check that out. You can tell little by little as I'm doing things that, like, there are keystrokes that are important. Uh, we may have been here before. This may have been the first place that we went into with the letter on the wall. Yep. Nothing to see. Everything just feels wrong in here, everywhere, the whole island. Yeah. So we've been in here before. There's a letter on the wall that uh, is from a guy who used to come here for church camp when he was younger. Uh, which means that this is the locked door, if I remember correctly. Yep. Which means that I still have nowhere to go. No idea where to go. I can go somewhere. I'm sure I can go to a lot of places. So let's check out the coastline. So, okay, that means the church is over here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. But there's been a couple of these just like randomly roofless areas. I'm not sure what they're. Oh, oh, this is new. Okay. What do we have here? Made out of copper. And it hasn't oxidized yet. Interesting. That's weird. Okay. She's 12 years old and Quentin is somebody I don't know. Okay. First of all, weird. Second of all, Haley is 12 
and Quentin is somebody that we used to know. Us. So they're friends, or they want to be friends. Hmm. 34 year old man. Okay. She's 12, dude. 12 year old girls are going to do that. <coughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the hatch. Interesting. Oh, color change. Alright, so we're in like a greenish now. Uh, Haley's 13. Uh, can I walk down this hallway? Every 12 year old child. The 12 year old kid does not want to be called a kid. Oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't like this. Thirteen. Oh. <gasps> okay. So there were some lies. Okay, so maybe Quentin was falsely accused and killed for it? Oh, yep, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So for whatever reason, it seems like Haley, a teenage girl, you know, budding emotions and feelings and hormones and whatnot. I had a crush on Quentin, who's 34, and he's like, uh, no thank you, you're 12, I'm 34, like, you should. And she felt very hurt by it, lied about him molesting her, and then the dad went into a rage and killed Quentin. So that seems to be the situation, and then Quentin's disgruntled ghost is now haunting Haley. Ooh. And Haley's still trying to make him happy. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Gosh, these lights are cool. Let's see if I can get through here. Come on. Oh, crowbar. I think you can. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a weird noise. <laughs> so, how do I use the crowbar, I wonder? Yeah. Alright, well, I have a crowbar now, and that's it. Oh, jeez. I really don't like this. <laughs> It's a question of swinging it, not a question of of using it to open doors. So weapon usage. Pages of a survival newsletter. They're all quite old. Interesting. They all gonna have that. Yep. Uh, we got some real good music coming on now. Really good music. Oh, here we go. We can use the crowbar now. Forward click new. Okay, so how do I... Let's see. Move, shift to run, left mouse, left mouse, right mouse. For... Oh, no, okay, right mouse for inventory. Got it. Okay, yep. There we go. Okay. No. There we go. Yeah. Not being able to see is discomforting. Uh, this music is really bringing it now. 
Wait, was I able to go somewhere over here? No. Okay. Uh, the music is getting a little bit loud in my headphones at least, so um, if my voice volume changes as well, it's because I'm trying to make sure you can hear me with the music. Alright, let's check down the other hallway as well. Gosh, the music is pretty though. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's not do that. Oh. <laughs> An uncomfortable cot. Ever. Interesting. So what is this place then? Canned food. It's like a, a shelter. Why would it be... <laughs> Alright, so let's check the other direction now. I keep wondering if there's like a way to go sideways in these dark areas. I'm going to assume that there is not though. Oh man. I'm just waiting for flipping the switch on and something crazy to happen. Or for me to get halfway down a hallway and for pitch blackness to occur. Okay, so let's see if there's any more. Nope, alright. Well, up the ladder we go. Now we're in the church. Interesting. What is this place? I don't like this spike. It's just, uh, why is that there? Uh. I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this might be the music machine. Oh wait, right in front of us here. Okay, so... Hmm... It looks like this right here might be the way these should be. But some of them look like they're on multiple levels. Let's put them all back up. Let's just hear what they all have to do first. We the four the one, we have language. Writing to and power to put in it. We are gods now if ever we want to. Oh, what does that mean? Gods need domains, unfractured domains. So we make another, a better one. A terrarium, maybe they call it. Ask Roger. <laughs> well, for gods, you, <laughs> we are gods. But we're not sure exactly what's going on. We're going to ask Roger. Humans going in the riding a tone, a sleeping of wisdom. The father's beast away, a glowing sky ball will be a throne. A moon, maybe they'll call it. Ask Roger this too. Who's Roger? Sky ball will be wisdom. The kingdom will be kept alive. This is weird. Product something. Oh, yeah, Roger Cox, that's right. <laughs> Roger was also the name of the letter uh, saying that he remembers going to church camp here. Whew. All right, guys, uh, we're going to call it an episode here. Uh, thank you for watching, for subscribing, and for joining us on this creepy journey uh, through who knows what's going on here. Uh, join us next time as we fully explore this church. See you guys then. Bye.